Good morning, everyone. God bless you. God bless you as you come on in. Good morning, good morning. God bless you. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Bless you as you come on in. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning as you come on in. God bless you. On the final Wednesday in every month, we jump into the soaking room. So this is what we're in this Wednesday morning. God bless you if you're coming in from Facebook and you are coming in from YouTube. Go ahead and share. Wake persons up. Let them know that we are live and God is going to minister to them and encouragement encourage them and they're going to receive encouragement <laughs> let's play a little bit more of this instrumental and then we're going to jump right into it god bless you Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. Mazi brushke bradele beko robosa. Jesus.
Good morning. God bless you, everyone. God bless you as you come on in. We are in the soaking room this Wednesday morning. And why are we in the soaking room? Why are we soaking? Why are we doing this? It's important that we soak because when we soak, we encounter the presence of God. The Bible said, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. When we create an atmosphere to welcome him, when we create an atmosphere so that he can dwell and tabernacle and abide with us, he begins to minister to every single area of our lives. There is this book that my spiritual dad has. Some of you guys will be familiar with it. It's called The Master Key to Acceleration and impact soaking in the presence of god what does that book means everything that you need is found in the presence of god the freedom that you need is found in the presence of god the deliverance that you need is found in the presence of god the acceleration that you need is found in the presence of god every direction you want your life to go it is it is it is it is formed it is it is energized in the presence of god and what happens a lot of times we don't spend time enough to allow god to minister to our lives to shift our lives we don't spend time enough to to go in the presence of God so that he can pour into us and strengthen us for where he's going and what he wants to do. His presence brings acceleration. And if we, we begin to handle his presence in the way it truly is, how precious it is, we are going to see great manifestation. The things that have been holding us back is going to be neutralized. The enemies that, that's before us, behind us, beside us, all around us, when when we go into the presence of God that begins to neutralize the assignment of hell what can stand in the presence of God who can stand in the presence of God when God is in the midst which declaration can stand which evil declaration can stand when God is upon you over you within you round about you what assignment of the enemy can prosper none so we have to we have to set aside time to soaking and a couple months ago the lord ministered to me concerning wednesday morning prayer and he said make every last wednesday the soaking room why we need his presence yes we have prayed Yes, we have prayed. We have released our petition. Yes, we have told him what we want. But we have to be quiet enough to hear what he's saying concerning the matters that we have been that we have released. We have to be quiet enough for him to speak because what happens in prayer a lot of times we release our requests and we are not still to hear what he's saying. Prayer is a dialogue. You release what you want from God. You release your supplications. You release your concerns and we get up and we move but in the space of soaking you are quieting your spirit to hear what he's saying you are quieting your spirit to, to get a response because he wants to respond 
he wants to respond but a lot of times we just in we out and we're not quiet to hear what god is saying and in the soaking room we have we have postured our heart to wait on him Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. sata. We have postured our hearts to wait on him. Sometimes soaking becomes difficult to individuals why they don't know how to be still. They don't know to be still. They're so accustomed to getting up and going and moving and getting things done quick and moving from one thing to next to the next. So they don't know how to wait. So there's a level of of, of anxiety what what should be happening here i'm i'm still you know i've been i've been still for a while why nothing is not happening no you have to be willing to wait on him you order bazuba dagada you have you have to be willing to soak to hear him when we talk about soaking think about clothes soaking white clothes those of us that's from the caribbean and you put the clothes in Sometimes we put it in the machine, but we soap it up. We, we put all the different solutions to get the dirt out and we make it stay a little bit. Old time people, I still do it, so I guess I'm old time people. You put it in a bar, <laughs> you put it in a bucket and you soap it up and you make it stay. You put bleach and you put oxy. Yeah, I do all of that, right? <laughs> I want my white white and I do all of that and I let it rest and I let it stay until it stays in that solution and all the dirt and the stain and the residue begins to dissolve that is what soaking is when you stay in the presence of god every stain every residue from the world every challenge that you have been experiencing emotionally financially what that what that begins to do it begins to dissolve why you have stayed you have soaked and anything that would have marred you anything that would have corrupted you contaminated you even the wrong mindsets when you begin to rest in the presence of god it begins to alleviate everything that consumes you and what begins to happen you begin you begin to get consumed with his presence in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. There's a transfer that takes place in soaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eba zubranda la baha. E lebrunda bakata. There is a transfer that takes place in soaking when you come in his presence you come one way but you leave the next you come with burdens but you leave light you come with problems but you leave with solutions my god almighty you you came in with oppositions and up obstacles but you you come out with the barriers being moved removed and the chains loose in your life there is a transfer that happens in the presence of God. There is a transfer that happens in the soaking room. When you settle yourself in his spirit, in, in, his, in his presence rather. When you settle yourself and you begin to say, God, you're the reason why I came. You're the reason why I came. I came for you. And in these moments you're not begging for anything you're not asking for anything you just say i'm here i'm here i'm here for your presence minister to me have your way in me change me do what only you can do do whatever you want what are you saying what what do you require from me you are you are settling your spirit in his presence and you're allowing him to carry you wherever he's taking you you're allowing his spirit to carry you and minister to you there's also a dimension in the soaking room where you're praying there's a specific answer that you need there's something that you need him to do and you're, you're, you're soaking in that so you're soaking in prayer. You are releasing prayers of intercession. You are releasing prayers for a change, for transformation. 
there's another dimension where you're in the soaking room and you're reading so you're soaking in his word you are allowing his word to get in you you are allowing his word to saturate you you are allowing his word to transform your mind and transform your thinking but ultimately it's time allocated to spend with God you're saying to God I'm not busy to hear you I'm not busy to seek you I'm not busy to fellowship what is it what is it that you want I'm here for you that's what you're saying and let me say this when we begin to do this we're deliberate with our times spend with God and deliberate and also sacrificial sacrificial with our time spent with God we are going to see transformation because we want God to intervene for us we want God to move on our behalf but we're not willing to sacrifice and allocate time to spend with him so we're so busy we want a breakthrough we want a release but we're so busy that we're not we're not seeking him how we should so we are not seeing that shift we're not seeing that transformation why there's not time set aside to encounter him i said everything that you need everything that you need is found in his presence the hell that you are you are going through or you have been going through that is neutralized in his presence Evil is oda badu bagadiada. Evil is neutralized in his presence. Darkness, darkness is destroyed in his presence. Why? His presence brings light. His oda bagazanda, the light of God's presence manifests when we, we, we rest in him. His presence brings light. The Bible said the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehends it not. Every darkness that consumes your life. Every darkness that consumes your life. It's neutralized in his presence. Because his presence brings light. It brings transformation. It brings transformation. It brings transformation. It brings transformation. And as you seek him this morning, there's a shift. As you, oh yeah, 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 yeah. As you seek him this morning, there's going to be a shift. As you seek him this morning, there is going to be transformation. As you quiet your spirit this morning and say, God, I am here for you. Whatever you want, whatever you want to do, whatever you are saying, I'm here. Oda brunda brakatala bahande lebe kosha li brunda brakatishka brunda brakatushke belebe konda bahaya zibrati brushka brande lebe kuta banda bando bosha lepepeli ata branda la bahaya riba baba kute be konda bakataya zipa palia palia ata brande lebe kosha ya zubrande lebe kora bahaya eh as you seek him this morning. There's going to be transformation. Ay, 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 Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Just begin to reach out to him. Just order back a shatter. Just begin to lift him. Just begin to honor him. Just begin to love up on him. Oh, God, we bless you. We worship you. We honor you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We honor the name of Jesus. We glorify the name of Jesus. We exalt the name of Jesus. We magnify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah to your name, King. We worship you. Just begin to bless him. Jooda brushka brushka brande lebe kurini kata branda la bakuskata zibra kata bahaya just begin to bless him begin to lift him
begin to honor him begin to reverence him begin to give him all the praise ah yeah 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 and all the glory yeah 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 lift jesus this morning exalt him this morning reverence him this morning my god almighty if you gotta kneel kneel if you have to kneel kneel there's a transfer in his presence Eba zuba kada bahande lebe hende lebe kosha lebra kasha. The Bible says He inhabits the praises of His people. When you begin to exalt Him, He comes and makes your place a habitation, your home a habitation. When you begin to lift Him in your body, He begins to come and settle Himself in your body. Every other bako shata bababando bohoya bahande. Brunda baka shanda la bahaya. Whatever sickness, whatever sickness, whatever sickness is fighting you. When you begin to soak, when you begin to reach out and touch him, every infirmity is disappeared. My disappears. Every infirmity goes. Every sickness is neutralized. Why? There is healing in his presence. There is transformation in his presence. Man de be 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 ko reach out reach out my god almighty reach out reach out reach out jesus oh yeah 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 oh shana na la masie kene de 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 yosha himana na masie talaman yosha hey yeah 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 Jesus. Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We all oh, reach out to him. Reach out to him. Reach out to him. Reach out to him this morning. Reach out to him this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. your name Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord <laughs> thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Jesus. plans of the enemy is neutralizing the presence of God the assignments of hell they are broken in the presence of God and this is why worship is so important we do ourselves a disservice when we don't seek his presence why everything that we need in his presence everything that we need is found in his presence rather and when we begin to press into the presence of God, our lives begin to reflect the presence of God. 
the presence of God produces wholeness the presence of God produces transformation we see when Jesus came those that were broken they were healed those that were sick they were healed those that were dead came back to life why the presence of God was no on the earth God in flesh God in flesh was now on the earth. So every infirmity, every sickness, every form of darkness, it was destroyed. Why? Jesus was on the earth. This is what the presence of God produces. The presence of God produces change. And this is why we have to be careful when we even forsake the assembly. Because the, the house of God, the house of God, the purpose of it is to host the presence of God. And in the space of the church, you should experience glory. You should experience deliverance. I said it the other day that the church should not gather and nothing happens. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. The church should not gather and nothing happens. Believers should not gather and nothing takes place. Why? The presence of God produces change. The presence of God produces acceleration. It produces transformation. So when you begin to reach out to encounter God, reach out and create an atmosphere for, for him to come. Some of you will say, isn't God always here? Isn't God everywhere? If, isn't God omnipresent? He, omnipresent? Yes, he is. But when you begin to create, follow me. When you begin to create an atmosphere, an environment to host him, you are going to even see, see him more tangible in your life. When you begin to lift up an altar of worship, an altar of praise, you are going to see the, 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 the tangible and physical manifestation of an invisible God. I'm going to say that again. Yes, God is everywhere. We serve a God that is everywhere all at once, know everything. But when we begin to create an atmosphere, we are saying what we are doing, we are hosting his presence, hosting his presence. And uh, let me say even hosting, hosting or his, pre his presence. And he begins to, to come in a tangible way. So you begin to see physical manifest manifestation of the presence of God. Physical manifestation that he's here. He's, he's resting here. He's staying here. Why do I say that? The Bible says that the Ark of the Covenant was at Obedinum's house. I hope I pronounced that right. It was at his house. And the Bible said the Lord blessed his house. There was a physical blessing because the ark was in his house and watch this the ark was in his house and nobody was dead so that means he was hosting the presence of god correctly that means he was uh, he was entertaining the presence of god correctly because nobody was dead prior to that the ark was handled incorrectly and a man was dead user was dead as a result of of handling the presence of god incorrectly the blessings of god flowed in his house the physical blessings because he was hosting the presence of god where you begin to host him there is not only spiritual blessings but there is physical blessings when you begin to host the presence of God, there is a physical manifestation. You begin to feel it in your body. You begin to feel it in your finances. You begin to feel it in your home. You begin to see it upon your children. You begin to see it upon your marriage. You begin to see it upon the works of your hands. Why? You have created an atmosphere that says you can live here. You can stay here. You can rest here. You can abide here. You can tabernacle here. I have created this atmosphere just for you. I have created this space where you can come and you can rest. 
Librunda bagada bahaya. Listen. God being the omnipresent God. He still rested on the mount with Moses. The glory of God came down. And Moses was in the middle of that. Because although he was everywhere, there was a space created for him to come and to speak and to give Moses information. Give Moses instructions for the people. And a matter of fact, what, what, what the, the, the children of Israel, they stayed, they stayed down, on, down at the mount. But Moses, Moses went up into that place of intimacy. Moses went up into that place of fellowship and information was released to him. Listen to me. Some of the things that you are tripping over and you're confused about. When you begin to go into the presence of God, you are, my God, your mind is going to be alleviated from some of these things. These things that consume you, the things that have you worried, the things that have you up. When you begin to go in the presence of God, there is a divine release. What happens in that moment? Humanity meets divinity. What begins to take place when you begin to seek the Lord and create an atmosphere for his presence? Humanity, which is us, meets divinity. And he comes and he releases his super upon our natural he comes and he releases his super upon or natural. And this is why there has to be space created for him. Times of int intimacy, personal devotion. And some of you, 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 you rest on church, but what happens on a, on a Monday? What happens on a Tuesday? Some of you, you only go church once for the week. What happens on a Monday? If you are waiting for Sunday to encounter him. If you are waiting for, for, for Sunday to pull on him. If you are waiting for Sunday to, 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 to rest in him, in, in him, that's not enough. You need him for Monday. You need him for Tuesday. You need him for Wednesday. Listen to me. There is an enemy. An enemy that walks around looking, searching for whom he may devour. This is, this is, this is the nature of the enemy. The enemy is always looking for an opportunity to fight the saints, to hinder your life, to block you. But let me say this. If you rest in his presence... If you rest in his presence, your, your, your seeking, your dedication, your fellowship neutralizes the assignment of hell. Your commitment to intimacy, seeking the presence of God, neutralizes hell. Neutralizes, neutralizes the assignment of the enemy. What happened with Saul? An evil spirit. Evil spirit was upon Saul. And who played? The anointed psalmist David played. David that sought the presence of God. Lebrunda brakata. David that valued the presence of God. So much so when he made a mistake. And God killed his child. He got up, washed himself and went to worship. David, that made that major blunder, that major mistake, and after that got up and went to the place of intimacy, he played. And the evil spirit that was upon Saul had to leave. He was appeased of that spirit and he felt freedom. What am I saying? I say every evil. Every darkness, every sorcery, every wickedness, everything that comes from the belly of hell cannot stand a chance in the presence of God. Everything that comes from the gates of hell, the pits of hell, cannot stand a chance 
in the presence of God. Evil. Evil is broken in his presence. Darkness has to flee in his presence. Darkness has to be broken and silenced in his presence. Everything that we need. Is found in his presence. Answers come in his presence. Some of you, you're confused. You're confused and instead of instead of pressing in to hear what God is saying, you're gone on social media. You you you're confused, but you're on TikTok. You're confused, but you 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 are scrolling Facebook and Instagram. I say seek his presence. Don't use those things as a means just to 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 appease or to, to, to make you feel a little bit better about what you're going through. No, you don't need to feel a little bit better, you need answers. You don't need to distract yourself from your problems. You don't need to distract yourself from what you're going through. You need answers. You don't need a temporary fix. You don't need a temporary feel good. No, you need a solution. You need change. You need transformation. Stop using these things to distract yourself and go seek the presence of God. Because you have a problem that needs to shift. You now, my God, Abakata, you have a matter that needs an answer. You have a matter that needs an answer. You have an issue that needs God's revelation. You need that you have an issue that needs God's instructions. So stop using things to distract yourself and go seek the presence of God. Stop using things to distract yourself and go seek the presence of Almighty God. Yeah, yeah, go seek the presence of God. Go seek the presence of Almighty God. Why? Everything that you need. Is found in his presence. The deliverance that you need. Is found in his presence. Some of you. You have some decisions that's before you. You have some decisions that's before you. And instead of pressing in to hear what God is saying. You're distracting yourself. No. You need to hear God. You need to hear what he's saying about the matter. You need to hear what he's saying about the situation. You need to hear what he's saying about the issues and the problems. He, you need to hear what he's saying concerning your next move. What is it that you are supposed to do? You need to hear what he's saying concerning purpose and concerning your destiny. No. You have to press in the presence of God. Because everything that you need is found in his presence. Every single thing that you need is found in his presence. So right now, I want you just to begin to create that atmosphere for him. Create that atmosphere and just begin to seek him. Repent of where you have leaned on your own understanding, where you have you have sought other means for the issue, for the, the problem, for the issue as well. You have you have made a phone call, call local, call abroad. You're going through things, but instead of reaching out to God, you have sought others, sought ways to to figure it out. You have leaned on your own understanding. I want you to begin to repent because I feel clarity. I feel clarity. I feel clarity coming to somebody this morning. Let me say this. There's no way you can seek him and not find him. There's no way you can seek him and not find him. The Bible said when you have searched for him with all of your heart, once you seek him, you will find him. Seek and you will find, I said, knock, and it shall be open unto you. Once you are creating an atmosphere to encounter him. Ah, 
once you are creating an atmosphere to encounter him you are going to see him once you are creating an atmosphere to house him you are going to encounter him begin to reach out to him right now you need god solutions you need god solutions you need god god fixes you don't need temporary fixes you don't need temporary solutions you don't need temporary temporary answers you need god solutions and you cannot get god solutions without seeking him you cannot get god answers without seeking him no you need Eda bakata you need god solutions and when you're creating that space that is what you're inviting god to speak concerning a matter jesus you're reaching out to him right now you're reaching out to him right now 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 yeah you're reaching out to him right now thank you lord yeah you're reaching out to him right now you're soaking in prayer you're soaking in prayer you're soaking in prayer you are soaking in prayer yeah that's what's happening now you order baga zibaga di karushka braka tushka ba zibra katala ba handele be korra bakata ya ripa kashata yeah you're soaking in prayer right now yeah 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 i'm gonna pray for you but i need you to reach out i'm gonna pray for you but i need you to reach out i need you to connect with him right now i need you to reach out and connect with him right now right now yes lord yes no yes lord and as you're reaching out you're gonna receive answers as you're reaching out you're gonna you're gonna sense what god is saying for you to do you're going to sense what he's calling you to do you're going to sense the, the answer the answer to the problem come on reach out to him right now right now we don't want we don't want temporary answers no we don't want temporary temporary solutions we need god solutions solutions that are permanent solutions that will not have a, 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 a effect after a bad effect after and a bad taste in our mouths after no we need god solutions because when god gives the answer there is transformation when god gives the answer the state of that thing is shifted when god gives the answer there is healing there is restoration and there is wholeness so we need god solutions solutions hey yeah 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 thank you oh thank you lord something is happening so thank you lord i hear i hear you you're reaching out i hear that the persons are reaching out yeah 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 reach out to him this morning kota bahande le bahaya ripa pampande le bekondo boskataya zubra kata brunda bakata bahande le bekotaya ripa kata brande le bekoshaya zupa kata pakatiya toshka pa ripa ndele bekora bakata labando lo bohoya zuba baba de bekonda bakata bande le bekoya zumba ndele bekonde le bekonde le bekushka pa ya zupa kata bahaya ripa papa kata bahaya repe kando boskatali Ataya, ripa kata brakash kabrunda bahaya, zubrunda brakash tebrunda bahaya, ripam pam pele peli atala bahaya, ripa le peli atala pantala yandoshka, randa la dada bando do do bokota la bandi endele bekosha, repende le bekonda la bahaya, zuba da bakada bagada gada, randa da 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 bahaya.
Lebeko Shata, Rebebebeko Raba Satana Nabahaya, Rebebebeko Shata Nabaha, Rebebebeko Shata Nabahande Lebeko Raba. Just begin to pray in tongues. Libra Katala Bahande Lebeko Raba Hande. Libi, if you know how to pray in tongues, begin to pray in the spirit. Lipa Paliata Baha, Ripa Pade Bekonta Barabunda Baha, Raba Baba Bako Shande Lebebebeko Rabaha, Lebebebeko Shata. This is another dimension in soaking when you are praying in the spirit my god almighty why your understanding your understanding will say this is what i want that is what i want but when you begin to allow the spirit of god to pray through you you are praying a perfect prayer you are you are releasing the will of god when you pray in the spirit you are releasing the mind of god when you pray in the spirit it is a perfect prayer why because we will pray and pray amiss we will pray and we don't pray according to his his word according to his will for our lives but when we allow the spirit of God to pray through us we are praying a perfect prayer why the spirit of God knows the mind of God the heart of God the will of God and that's what we need in our lives we need the will of God to be manifested we need the will of God to be released my God Almighty we need to walk in the will of God we need to be synchronized my God and in sync with the will of God begin to pray in the spirit if you know how to Ekatabahaya, Zubra Katabrunda, Brakatabaka tu, Liba Baba de Bede Beconda Bada Bande Beko Shataya, Zubagadian de Lebeconda Labagoda Bagadian de Lebeko Shaya, Zogadagadian Doboko Tabacadian de Labacotaya, Ripa Patele Pelia Paliataya, Repele Peliata la Patushke Peleba, Zubadaba de Bandi Bacando Loboko Saya, Repele Peliata la Badoboko Shanda, Rapande Lebecuri Katesh Kribush Kura. Bande de Beheya, Rapam Pempele Pelepelia, Repelia Talapalia Talapandos Kaba, Zubadabagandi and Dolobo Koraba Kataya, Rambam Bele Bele Belia Talabando Lobo Tolobo Toya, Zubagadi and the Lebe Koraba Kataya, Rapapalia Talepeliata, Rebe de Beconda Labande Lebe Koraba Tanda, Rabababa Koshen de Lebe Koraba Kataya, Ripalia Talapalia Talapalia, Repele Pelia Talis Kurushka Braka Tushkada, Retele Bashko Ruska Bruska Branda Zibrande Lebe Kushka Pashka Paya Zupala Palia Talabahaya Zobodobo Kotabada Bakotaya Zombombandi Libion Dolobohoya E kataya rababa bako shanda laba lebe konda laba lebe koshata there's a breaking that's taking place right now and your ear gates are being released where you didn't hear God makoshata da bahaya that the da that is being released in this morning in the mighty name of Jesus everything that has been blocking you my God Almighty from connecting with God as you should makoraba sitele bohonda lebe bebe konda laba ndoboko Shandala basota, let that be broken this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God. Let the powers of hell, Librunda Brakashata, be broken. Let clarity come come to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Monday, Shato Bashika, Yobobobo Shanda. Everything that God has called you to do, may that be revealed to you. Everything that He's leading you to do, let that be clear to you. Everything that He has assigned for you to do. My God, let that be revealed to you. Mandebe koshata dada basakunda bakata. Rabababa koshata. Let confusion break this morning. Let that dada bakuri be koshata. Let every spirit that has sought to confuse you, confuse you concerning your next move. My God Almighty and your next season. Let that be shattered this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the power of God come upon your life. Let be koshata. Let demonic yokes be broken. Let the yedoboko. Toboko tabakanda, Zubagadi and Dolaboko Rabakata, Ratalabadi and Dalabako Tabaya, Zipalia Tabakatea. Let demonic yokes be broken this morning in the name of Jesus. Let the curses over your life Monday be broken in the name of Jesus. Every evil released against you, let that be broken this morning in the name of Jesus. Let every sickness that has sought to come upon your body, I speak healing, I speak healing upon your life. This 
morning in the name of Jesus. Let my God, let every witchcraft connected to your feet, let that be broken. Every person that I'm sent scratching, itching, I say every foot with them one gear, I command every hole of the enemy to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. I say no evil shall befall you and no plague shall come nigh your dwelling. I declare every plague assigned to your life, every evil that is directed to your life, this morning it is broken for surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Makashanda, every evil that is projected towards your life, it is neutralized by goodness. The goodness that God said would follow you. Oh, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Let every evil break. Let every darkness break. Let every witchcraft break. Let every hole of hell break. Let every evil assignment break. Let the double shut the double higher. Let every witchcraft order break. Mando go shanda ba 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 kondo bo ko shanda. Every evil waiting to consume your life. Let it be consumed by the presence of Almighty God. This morning, heta ba 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 kuta ba kata ya. Huka pakalia palia pala. Wapa ba ka si asa ya 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 ya. Asa you're coming out of the bandages of the enemy. You're coming out of the grip of the enemy. You're coming out of the hole of the enemy. You're coming out of the scheme of the enemy. I say freedom be released over your life. We soak you in prayer. We soak you in prayer. We soak you in intercession. Lipa pa pa ko shanda. We soak your word. Makanda your life. By the word of God, we soak your life with the word of God. Lebekoshanda, may you be in good health and, and prosper as your soul prosper. Every evil against your life, may it be neutralized by the word of Almighty God. For your times are in his hands. It is not in the hands of the enemy. It is not in the hands of your past. My God Almighty, it's not in the hands of your mistakes. No, your times are in the hand of God. Lebeko Shanda, Lebeko Shata, may God move on your life. Mega baba badi badu baga debe godo boko to boko to boko to zede de de be kodo boko tabadi ya dada zuga daga dia kandele be konda baya zuga daga di bandu bakuta bada bando kosha yoko ndo boko shata daba haya ripa palia 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 zupalia palia pale pele zupam pele pele ya pala zipalia pala pala pa rapa pa 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 there is a breaking that's taking place right now. There's a oh Jesus. There's a oh ya 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 na 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 no shete lete 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 liya talata. There's a da da bunda bakasha. There's a breaking that's taking place right now. I speak to weaknesses in the bodies of the people. Weakness in your body. Receive strength this morning. We a ya da da bando ko shanda la mande ketelebe hikana na na masie kataya hetele dalia tiele de la la. Where there's weakness in your body, strength coming to your body. This morning, eko shanda la di e kiana nasa. Ikana namasi e kati anda la da 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 da. Elele be koshata every spirit of infirmity that has been sucking life from you. Every spirit of witchcraft that has been affecting your strength. Ela mani e kiana nasa taya. Ikata bada di e kiana na. Receive strength this morning. I feel strength coming to your body. You went to your bed weak. You got up weak. But strength is coming to you. This might not be for everybody, but this is for somebody. Oh, I feel the weakness leaving. I feel the weakness leaving and strength. 
te ba 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 koshanda una manie te te be 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 koshanda le be 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 yando la bo koraba shatara dariosha he te le ba 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 die si a la 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 se te le beriosha ta uta ba da ba dio tolo bo ko tolo bo ko taya ba 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 he le be 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 that's it that uh that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it he ba 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 ko shata da da ba haya le be 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 ko shata la dio tolo lo bo be strengthened in the name of Jesus hey ya 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 be strengthened in the name of Jesus be ya da 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 ba ku se te le dio da 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 ba se te le dio da da ba sha be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Yeah, Koshata. Begin to walk. Begin to move. Begin to move. Strength. Strength has been imparted to you. Strength has been imparted to you. Ah, strength has been imparted to you this morning. God is healing somebody from asthma. God is eya da da baka dushka baskushishka brushka brushka brande lebe kosha. God is healing somebody from asthma right now. Right, oh da 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 da. The heavy breathing is breaking. The he the heavy be breathing it's breaking. It's oh da bako shata da baha. It's breaking. The heavy breathing is breaking. Yes, it's breaking right now. Right now. Right now. Red baski brushka bra lebe kosha. It has been acting up lately. It has been acting up lately. But the he da da buka sika. Toshkata, ripa pakata brukataya, ripa pakashata. But the heavy breathing is breaking uh, this morning uh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, sha, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, healing, healing is released in His presence. Healing is released. Oh, Jesus, healing is released in His presence. Transformation. Transformation takes place in his presence. I feel a release of acceleration. Some of you, there are some things that you've been waiting for. There are some things that you've been waiting for. There are some calls that you've been waiting on. I said, because you have been in this atmosphere this morning, because you have created an atmosphere this morning to encounter him, Lebrakashata received that acceleration. Come out of the queue. Come out of the queue where you're in the waiting line, where you've been waiting. I put speed upon your life this morning. Lebrakashata. That's released to you this morning. Hey, yeah, da, 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 da. Speed comes upon your life. No more delay. No more deny. My God Almighty, but I declare access and speed comes upon your life this morning. Access. Mando kosh katabahaya. Zubaka shikatushka bakashkite. Rekete keshkatushka taya. Zukata bakataya bakata. Repe pepe pepe le palia palaba. Rabada da 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 suta rabada my God, speed comes upon your life this morning. I hear the Lord said, I'm disappointing evil. I hear the Lord say, I hear the Lord say, I hear the Lord say, I am disappointing evil. Let me go shatter every evil projected against your life. The Lord said this morning, I am disappointing evil. Every plan against your future, every plan against your now, every plan against your tomorrow, every plan against your health, every plan against your marriage, every plan against your ministry, every plan against your mind, your mind. Mind, your mind. I hear the spirit of the Lord said this morning that I am disappointing evil. Every evil projected to you this morning. My God Almighty shall be disappointed. Every evil assignment, every evil plan, every evil verdict. The Lord has prospered your journey. Hey, ya na na, ye de de de, I feel freedom. Avoya na masoto lobo koto lobo koto lobo koto lobo koto zibado lobo koto lobo koshata lebe koshata. Whatever they plan for you, whatever they sprinkled, my God Almighty, to hinder your life. Whatever oil, whatever powder, whatever order, whatever witchcraft, whatever hit over your life, it is neutral.
neutralize this morning in the name of Jesus. Disappoint hell, disappoint evil, disappoint the workers of iniquity, disappoint the sorcerers, my God Almighty. Let the Koshata disappoint the diviners, disappoint the necromancy, my God Almighty. Disappoint it in the name of Jesus. Disappoint. Oh, I feel God. I feel God. Oh, bo shata la 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 basha. No weapon. Le karabaha. Le bebe ko shata. No weapon formed against you. Shall be able, shall be able to prosper. Le bebe ko shata. I said no weapon. No weapon formed against you. Shall be able to, oh, I feel God this morning. No weapon. He will not give you over. To the expectations of the enemy. I feel freedom. And every door that was closed before you is being opened. Every lock that was on that door has been broken. Every chain that hell has sought to put chains on it so you can't access it. Shata baba bakush kapa. That chain is broken this morning. Walk in access. Somebody just need to walk through a door this morning. Prophetically. So that somebody just need to walk through a door right now. Prophetically. You are going through in the name of Jesus. And every witch and sorcerer that was at the door is being disappointed. Le brada le dushka brada le toshka rabushka bruta labaha. Every witch and every sorcerer that stood at the door against your life, against your necks, man de ko shata, le baka shata are being neutralized this morning in the name of Jesus. Ado shataya. Oda bakaraba de boho shatarabaha. Riba da bado shkataraba handi lebe kosha. Riba bando shatarian dushka bahaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God. My God. My God. Babado shayana na ye. Itala la 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 basuya. Just begin to praise him. Just begin to praise him. Somebody, there's, 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 there's something on your chest, but you're being released from that right now. Sickness, get off. Get off, Baba Koshata. Get off of her chest. Get off of her chest. Come out of her body. I drive you out. I drive you out this morning. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of infirmity, you oda bako shata. You've been you've been affecting her chest for over a week now. There is healing that's been released to you, and the delivering power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. feel fire. I feel fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire. Let the gift things, gift things in your life be stirred up. As Paul said to Timothy, stir up the gift, gifts. I declare a stirring in your belly this morning. I declare a stirring. La brushka braka tiba scuba zibranda. I declare a stirring over your spiritual life this morning in the name of Jesus. May God pull you out of cycles of failure. May God pull you out of cycles of depression and oppression. Mandobo koshata me. God pull you out of the cycles of this disappointment and let there be a divine release that comes upon your life in the name of Jesus yeah 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 Woo! oh shy yeah 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 something is happening so oh sha something is happening the whole of hell has been broken. The whole of hell has been broken. And freedom is your portion 
in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Confusion. Woo! Mm hmm. Confusion has broken. And oh, Shia, yeah, and clarity. It comes to you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Mm hmm. Hear, sense, discern, know what God is saying concerning you in this season and in this time. Mm. Thank you, Lord. There's a woman here wrestling with depression. And this depression is stemming from some issues that you encountered as a child. I feel healing coming upon you right now. Right now. Oh, Sha. You've been crying more than lately. You're very emotional of lately. But God is healing you. Oh. The issues that you have avoided and skirted around for years, God is allowing them to face you because he wants to heal you. He's ministering to you right now. <clears throat> he's ministering to you right now. And he's bringing, oh, bahaya. And he's bringing healing to you. He's bringing healing to you. He's bringing healing to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I feel fire. Receive this fire. Receive this fire for what God has called you to do. Receive this fire to bring impact and to bring change to your, your region, your community, the people that God has given you their ears. Receive fire this morning in the name of Jesus. If you're not saved, if you're not saved, God is calling you. He's calling you to come. He's calling you to pick up your cross and follow him. Don't delay him any longer. Stop putting off salvation. He's saying, come. I feel a pull of God upon many persons. If you're a backslider, return. You have stepped away from God, return. And come back to him this morning. Because he's calling you. Calling you out of danger. Calling you out of the penalty of sin. And calling you out of eternal damnation. Don't pay a cost that Jesus has already paid for. He died so that you can live. Surrender to him. If that's you this morning, I want you to reach out to us at L-O-T-G international at gmail.com l-o-t-g international at gmail.com and send us your name send us your number and let us know that listen i said i said the sinner's prayer i surrendered to jesus this morning and i want to be a disciple i want you to reach out to us Repeat after me before you go. Father, I'm a sinner. If this is you, just repeat after me. Father, I'm a sinner. Today, I walk away from the world and the things of the world. And I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Change my life. I choose to follow you. Let your will be accomplished in me. As today, I look to you, the author and finisher 
of my faith. If you have said that prayer, heaven is rejoicing. Heaven is rejoicing and welcome to the kingdom of Almighty God. Reach out to us, shoot us an email, and let us know that you said that prayer. Believers, God bless you. What's happening? I'm jumping off. I gotta go. What's happening? What's taking place? I feel freedom. I feel clarity. I feel healing. I feel deliverance. Let me know what happened to you this morning. Let me know what you sense, what God did with you this morning. What, he's, what, 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 what did he do? I want you to let me know before you jump off. I want to thank everyone that came out to Woman Stay Loose Conference. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Everyone that was on Zoom, that jumped on virtually, God bless you. I pray that you were blessed it was three days of transformation with just a ball. <laughs> I was saying to God, God, this conference is so different. <laughs> this conference is so different. But it's what we needed. It's what we needed as God is aligning his women for where he's taking us. You know, we can't just do it normally and do what we want. And because we feel it, we do it. We have to be in the book. We have to be aligned with the word of Almighty God. And that's what God did. So look out. We're going to have the Women on the Frontline e-course next year. For all women that you feel. Some, you feel that you're called to ministry. You have gotten prophetic words concerning ministry. And for some, you're a... Not, let me not say minister. You serve in some capacity within your church. It's important that we understand the standard that God has called us to flow in and what he requires from us as women. So we have the e-course that's coming up next year so you guys can look out for that. If you're a leader in your church, if you are a minister in your church, if you're even a pastor, this, this six-week course is information that I gathered from my eight plus years of ministry. And if I had knew, known some of these informations before, you know, some mistakes that I made wouldn't have happened. But it's all right. We we go through things to learn. And the wisdom that I received, I'm able to impart it to others. So look out for that, believers. Love you guys. Thank you for joining me. I don't see the comments. Let me see. It is well. Some persons are saying, I feel, I feel free. I feel favor. Feeling a sense of peace locating me. I feel God shifting the atmosphere. All right, I feel relief. All right, glory to God. I feel a release of my chest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I, I, I see the comments coming in. I got clarity. Somebody said I got clarity. Thank you. I felt the presence of God. Yes. All right, how do I sign up for the course? It will be released earlier. Well, not earlier. It's going to be released later in this year. So you guys will see all the information. I feel delivered. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you guys. Have a awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, it's a course. It's going to be next year. But you'll receive more information on it, my dear. God bless you. Join us tonight for Bible study at 8 p.m. at Light of the Gentiles International Facebook page and Instagram page. Shalom.